Okay guys, so I'm going to finally do the Glamouflage versus Kat Von D concealer um, comparison. I don't have a tripod anymore. I sold it. I didn't think I was going to need it anymore. Um, and now here we are and I'm in this predicament, predicament where I have to do this. But I figured maybe I could do it on my wrist so I could show you. Um, I don't know what I did with the pencil that came with this Glamouflage one, because you're supposed to... Um, I'm just going to show you on a tattoo because it's easier to show um, concealing that way. So I'm going to use the NYX Wonder Pencil instead because you're supposed to outline the black. You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, outline the black part with the concealer pencil, which I have no idea what happened to my concealer pencil that came with the Glamouflage one. So it just, I guess it just helps to kill the harshness of the black. That's, I'm so friggin pale, even this is too dark for me and this is like the lightest shade they had. Alright, so we're not gonna do the whole thing here. Um, it's just messy and it doesn't have to be neat, but basically helps lighten the black a little bit. Um, then I'm gonna do the Glamouflage on one side and the Kat Von D on the other, so uh, I need to get my powder, actually. Mm. I'm gonna use the, uh, the CoverGirl, um, what is this called, Cover... This is not CoverGirl, this is Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder in Fair because my friggin' wrist is so light, so I usually, if I use that powder, which is very rarely, I use a mix of the Fair and the Fair Light one, which is this one, just because it matches my skin better, so I'm gonna blend it, blend the pencil out a little bit anyways, so it's not all, some of it kind of chunked off on me. I'm gonna take the Glamouflage one, and I should probably do this with a sponge, but I don't have one right here, so... I'm gonna do this half with the Glamouflage. The Glamouflage one is a little bit thicker than the Kat Von D one. I don't know if it's just because it's been sitting or what, but... So I'm going to do what I did in the other video and basically do this, then powder, then do it again, then powder again. So that's what you get with the Glamouflage right off the bat. Um, it's a very heavy duty concealer and it's all over my finger and I need to clean it. <laughs> Kat Von D1, same kind of tube and everything. Um, you get... 0.71 ounces in the Glamouflage one, and you get 0.58 in the Kat Von D one. But with both of them, a little goes a long way. So, I mean, I've had this Glamouflage one forever, and I've barely made a dent in it. So, on over here, I'm going to put the Kat Von D one. Which is a little bit darker than the Glamouflage. I should have got the light 16 instead of the light 18. But what are you gonna do? <laughs> this will be like my summer concealer because I'll be darker in the summer anyway. Well, yeah, it did not look this, it doesn't look this dark on my face. Like I said, I'm really pale on my, uh, arms and wrists and everything. You can, you can't tell it's bad on camera, but, all right, so, this side is the Glamouflage, this side is the Kat Von D. Like I said, the Kat Von D is a little bit too dark for my wrist, so I'm gonna let them both dry. They do take a little while to dry, it's kind of like my only uh, dislike of using liquid concealers like that. 
probably edit all this out. All right, so now that they're basically dry, you can still see through it. It's all gloomy out, but I have my light on, so hopefully you can see. Then I'm gonna powder over it. So I'm just gonna take, um, I usually use this one for face powder. This is my EcoTools face brush that already has powder on it from me doing this to my leg, testing it out. So I just, um, get powder on the brush and then tap it just because I don't want to be disturbing it if it's still not completely dry and using this lighter color powder is going to help the fact that this is too dark my concealer is too dark it helps it blend in better and of course sets it so it doesn't start smearing So there it is with one layer of concealer and one layer of powder. Pretty much if you split my wrist in half, <laughs> this is the Glamouflage side and this is the Kat Von D side. So you can still see through it, but it's doing a pretty good job so far. Like I said, they're pretty comparable. So if you don't want to spend the 25 bucks on the Kat Von D one, this one for like six bucks, I think it is. Is it six or eight? Um, is just as good. So, uh going to go in again. I'm going to put a dot of the Glamouflage on this side and a dot of the Kat Von D on this side. So you see. And then I'm just going in with my finger again. Glamouflage side is done and then clean my finger the Kat Von D side. I don't know what all that noise is. My neighbors over there have a motorcycle, so I think that's what that is. Yeah. <laughs> so now you pretty much can't see anything with the second layer, and then I'm going to powder over it again just to set it. And I did this to my ankle the other night. I left it on. I want to say I've slept with it on because I wanted to test its uh, staying power. Slept with it on and then I took a picture of it the next afternoon um, and it was pretty worn off. So I mean, depending on how long you are going to wear this for, um, you usually, if you're going to cover a tattoo, you want it to stay on and not smear. I would say if it was just like for a, an event or something that you want to cover the tattoo for, um, it'll be fine throughout the night. Because, I mean, I slept with it. It was rubbing against the sheets and everything, and there was still product on it in the morning. And it didn't start really showing through until later that day. So, like... 24 hours, yeah, <laughs> it pretty much lasted, so, ew, it looks really dark on the bottom, um, put some more powder there, okay, so, powdered over, Kat Von D side, Glamouflage side, it looks like I have nothing, pretty much, blanked out my wrist over here. I hate that it's so dark. It looks so dark on my wrist. Um, and it's not that dark when I use it on my face because it covers my, uh, my redness up pretty well. Um, all right, so that is pretty much it. You can see that they, if I had the correct color in the Kat Von D one, that they would be pretty much exactly the same. Um, as far as lasting power and everything, the Kat Von D one lasts a little bit longer. Uh, if you're gonna, if you're looking to use these on your face, obviously they're perfect. They are wonderful concealers, both of them. But like I said, um, when I first said I was gonna do the video, 
I like the Kat Von D one as an under eye concealer, love it as an under eye concealer, but I can't use the Glamouflage as an under eye concealer just because it, for some reason, by the end of the day is all goopy and kind of like clings to your um, fine lines and everything. This one doesn't do that. So um, that's really the only difference is that the Kat Von D one is better as an under eye concealer than the Glamouflage one. Um, I'm trying to answer all the questions that I know I'm going to get. Uh, I'll insert the picture of the that I took on of my ankle after I wore it for like 24 hours. So you, you can see. But keep in mind that that was after sleeping and rubbing against the sheets and everything. So. Um, if you're just using it for your face, which a lot of people are, um, that's what everybody asked me questions about in the the original Glamouflage video that I did. They're both awesome for your face. Just like I said, Glamouflage is not a good under eye concealer. The Kat Von D one is. Um, they both have awesome coverage. You could tell that right away just from me patting it on with my finger. Um, and. They both, the Kat Von D one doesn't need to be set as much as the Glamouflage one does because they both take a decent amount of time to dry, which sucks, but the Kat Von D one, once it sets, it sets. The Glamouflage one kind of wants to rub off if you don't set it with a powder, so that's another difference. Um, and I'm... <laughs> Hopefully you can see good it look it like oh man I hate how dark it looks on this side like it must be because this the light shining on it is so bright because looking at it right now it does not look that dark and then when I put it on the camera it looks like I got a dirty arm or something but hopefully that was helpful um, Hopefully it'll save you guys some money because you'll just get the Glamouflage one and not pay 25 bucks for the Kat Von D one like I did. Um, but I really love it as an under eye concealer, so I was not disappointed in it at all. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have questions or comments, leave them below and I will talk to you guys in my next video.